Welcome to a little bit after the beginning of day 35. Because I forgot to press record. I am harvesting a bunch of birch trees for the birch nuts. Uh oh, I'm hungry. Uh, because I want to try out the trail mix recipe, which requires a, a roasted birch nut, sticks, and some berries. I really wanted to try a few recipes that were made from sticks because that that idea just really gets me. Like you can cook a stick and it'll become trail mix. And those are the ingredients of trail mix. I guess that's supposed to represent like the pretzels that you might get in trail mix. But I don't know, it's just funny. Also, I feel like I feel like in normal world generation, it's so hard to find places. It's so hard to find food that when I still see food, I feel like um, so there's that. I also, at the very beginning of starting this world, I burned a bunch of trees because I knew that I would need charcoal to make the crockpot, which I think is part of the fun for me because it's kind of what I like to do in real life too. Like look up recipes and try them out. But it's just funnier when you try out recipes in the crockpot because like in the game crockpot because like some of these don't make any sense. Like you can put three ice cubes and meat and you got some meatballs? That's next level. So here I have the roasted birch nut because I'm getting ready to make the trail mix. And the trail mix is good because it lasts for something like 15 days and I want to have trail mix ready for some traveling because I do want to cross the river across um, this piece of land because I would actually not explored there quite yet and that's entirely because I just hadn't had the chance to go there so here we have it we have the trail mix and the other thing about the trail mix is that I heard you can actually stack them which makes it really helpful because I don't think you can stack other foods or I haven't tried it in the correct way which is kind of a new one. I'll make another one so that I have at least some food. Um, so I'm going to visit the piece of land across the river and that's my plan. Going forward, just explore the entire world, you know? I can't just live in this piece of land and not know what's out there. Look out for the red feathers too. It's probably some like fancy magic thing. I also realized that unlike the winter ice mountains, ice mountain, um, the ice patches or glacier patches that are here grow back, just like uh, like bushes might grow back or softens might grow back. So I can't actually remove that patch of water, which is a little bit sad because now it's like a bald spot where my saplings are. I'm gonna make some meatballs <laughs> using ice. It's kind of like frozen meatballs if you think about it. Like if you have frozen meatballs in your fridge and you microwave them and then ta-da, you have <laughs> I don't know, that makes no sense, but it makes sense in my book. So the thing about like herbit or hunting meat is that all of the tools for hunting meat require remaking. Like they all have a lifetime or lifespan, which makes it really hard 
which makes me think maybe I should be a vegetarian in this game. <laughs> Just eat berries and carrots and survive for the rest of the game. Just like this. bunch of leaves. I'm gonna make some paper for my books. And restore the rest of the leaves so that they're not in the way. And my see sometimes when my gear isn't organized I make all these extra tools so you see I, how I have two hammers that's probably because I couldn't find the hammer in time you know what I'll just make another hammer which is not the best use of resources Chester, I always forget that I have things in the Chester because the Chester just follows you around and at first it starts making noises and you notice it, but then over time you just get used to it. I forgot that it's there. Anyways, I forgot to end this and the, <laughs> end the recording again um but yeah feel free to subscribe drop a comment don't be mean um and maybe i'll see you around